We have breaking news from the hearing from embattled billionaire Bernie Madoff. It has been revealed that five of Madoff's most trusted employees have been formally charged in association with the Ponzi scheme that cheated investors out of billions of dollars and left numerous businesses in financial ruin. The massive fraud was uncovered by the SEC last week after Madoff's supply of stolen money ran dry. If found guilty, Madoff will likely spend the rest of his life behind bars. Jonathan Caprice was Madoff's former finance chief and was one of the most notable figures in today's hearing. Caprice has deep involvement with the fraud and was a key conspirator yeah, in the scandal. I'm watching the report Caprice right is being now. charged with conspiracy to defraud no. clients, securities Mom. 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 I know. I know he's a scumbag. Please calm him down. He can rot in jail. I don't care if he's my father. I He's a piece of shit, and I don't owe him anything. <sighs> Mom. Mom! It's gonna be fine. <sighs> what? Huh? What do you mean? Wh what? You used that money? Mom, that's a $900,000 house. You told me Grandpa left it for us. God damn it. You told me that that money for the house came from this Ponzi shit? How could you let him do that? What do you mean they're taking it? The feds are taking the fucking house. Mom. Mom! Fuck. Yeah, I know. Mom, how are we paying for college? I'm, I'm very sorry, Stephen, but I mean, we've already delegated all of our available financial aid for the semester, and besides, your family's income far exceeds our need based requirements. Please, Dean Walters, I need this. I've done everything right in the two years I've been here. I've gotten involved. I've gotten phenomenal grades. I've even been recognized as one of the top 500 students to be watched by Morgan Stanley. And that was just for my work on sustainable investing. You know what's going on with my family. I'm not my father. I hate the man. We're at risk of losing everything. I mean, can't you just make one exception? Look, you've been enrolled in one of the best business schools in the country for the last two years. The revelation of this fiasco between Bertie Madoff and your father has rocked us to the core. Did you know that you're the fifth straight student to come in here pleading for money because of this Ponzi scheme? Their families have lost everything. But you are on the other side of this. From what you tell me, you could have been coming to this school on money that isn't even yours. Who knows, maybe that money belonged to the girl who walked out of here in tears 20 minutes ago. But I don't, you don't care if you knew the money was stolen or not. All I care about is the bottom line. We will not offer you more money to come to this institution. We will be happy to have you back next year if you can make the payment deadline, but that's all I can do for you. Sir, please, I need this money. I have an appointment to attend to. I trust you know the way out. Steven. I hope you learn from your father's mistakes. As you all likely know, As you all likely know, the Bernie Madoff pyramid, pyramid scheme is making headlines currently as the largest Ponzi scheme in history. 
Although Madoff and his accomplices have their assets liquidated as we speak in an attempt to pay back some of the money, the total loss is estimated to be over $60 million. Fucking crap. Stephen Caprice, son of the infamous Jonathan Caprice. How are you doing on this fine oh, night? Look, man, just relax. What the hell do you want? Me? What do I want? How about the three million dollars your father stole from me? See, my name is Peter Foley, and my father is, or rather was, a successful life insurance salesman who entrusted everything to Madoff and your father. We lost everything. I can't even afford to go to school here anymore. So what I want from you is a check for $3 million or I'm gonna pummel your face to the ground repeatedly. Hey, hey, just chill. I'm in the same fucking boat as you, man. I don't have enough money to pay for this fucking school either. I mean, the feds are taking everything away from me. I have nothing I could give you right now. Well, I guess that makes my choice much simpler. Wait, 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 Peter, Peter, Peter. I could get your money back. I could get your money back. Just, yeah, yeah, I could get your money back. My dad's one of the biggest dirtbags I've ever seen. But he's smart, he's really smart. And as much as I hate to admit it, I know how to play this game. I know how to get your money back. It won't be easy, it won't be safe, it won't even be legal. But if it works out, we'll make a shitload of money. That'll be really fucking fun. All right, Caprice, so what do we do? Well, we're going to need a cash base. I see that despite your situation, you still have a nice ass watch and a Mercedes. Yeah, what about him? Sell it. Next, we need your dad's files from his work as a life insurance salesman. You have to get the names of people over the age of 60 and who have over 200,000 in their old insurance plans. Even though they are no longer your father's clients, the money will still be there. Once we find where these insurance plans were transferred, we pose as that insurance company. Fake names, fake business website, everything. We convince them to cash out their current life insurance policies to invest in a budding new industry. We just have to figure out what industry. Hmm, beekeeping, no wait, mini golf. Are you serious? How the hell did you even get into the school? No, how about thermal copper pillar engineering? I saw it on Reddit once. It has something to do with the cooling of electronics, but we can just make this shit up. They won't even know the difference. Essentially, we create a bogus technology company and we, as their all-knowing insurance agent, convince them that investing in this thermal copper pillar company will yield a higher return than the normal policy ever would. The whole time, the fake tech company would be feeding the invested money straight into our offshore accounts. Before things get too hot, we shut everything down and the insurance agents, the tech company, and a pretty sizable chunk of the cash disappear off the face of the earth. Since we will be using secure lines and connections and no one will ever see our faces, there will be nothing to lead back to us. <laughs> you know what? Maybe Dean Walters was right. Maybe I did learn a valuable lesson from my father's mistakes. Don't get caught. <laughs>